Hi there, I'm Marie. Today I'll be showing you a spicy and aromatic Sichuan stir fry using a mala sauce. This dish is spicy, tangy, savory, and a bit smoky. Once you've tasted it, you'll be back for more. Let's go through the ingredients and prepare them for stir frying. This recipe makes two servings. We'll use 8 ounces of sirloin beef. Always slice the meat across its grain, so the pieces will be more tender. To make it more flavorful, marinate it with cornstarch, xiaoxing wine, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Mixing the first three ingredients until well blended. And only then add the sesame oil. Set it aside for 30 minutes. For vegetables, we'll use a small segment of lotus root, mustard greens, carrot, and wood ear mushrooms. And for the aromatics, we'll use garlic and ginger. Rinse and then soak the wood ear mushrooms for 30 minutes. Remove and discard the hard stems and then cut what's left into bite-sized pieces. Wash the lotus root. Cut off the ends from both sides and peel off the skin. Slice thinly, about half centimeter thick. Further half the pieces if they are too big. If you like, make a few slits on the carrot before slicing it into cut wheel shapes. Rinse the mustard greens until the water is clear. Then cut them into bite-sized pieces. Mince the ginger and chop the garlic. I have these optional ingredients for garnishing the dish. These are dry hot chili peppers. I'm leaving them whole and uncut so they won't release heat to the dish. I'll also use peanuts along with some sesame seeds. An essential ingredient for this stir-fry is mala sauce. You can buy this ready-made or prepare it yourself. I have a separate video on how to make it. The link to that video is in the description. Our seasoning will also include soybean paste, sugar, xiaoxing wine, sesame oil, beef stock, and cornstarch. Go ahead and mix the cornstarch with the beef stock. If you don't have beef stock ready, you can use water instead. That's it all for the preparation. Let's start cooking. First, we need to pre-cook the wood ear mushrooms and lotus root. That's because they take longer to cook than the other ingredients. Boil the wood ear mushroom first. Cook for 5 minutes. Then add the lotus. Continue to cook for 3 more minutes. As soon as they are removed from the pot, Douse them with cold water to stop the cooking process. Next, we'll cook the beef. Using medium heat, start with 1 tablespoon of peanut oil, followed by some chopped garlic and minced ginger. Cook until they are fragrant. Drop in the beef. Then add 1 tablespoon of mala sauce. Separate the meat pieces and let them sear on the hot pan for two and a half minutes. Set them aside and we are ready to put the whole dish together. We'll start by heating two tablespoons of peanut oil. Drop in the garlic and ginger. Once they're fragrant, add the soybean paste. Then gradually put in the carrots, wood ear mushrooms, a 
and lotus root. Always stir while adding ingredients so the food at the bottom doesn't burn. Now blend in the all-important mala sauce. I'm using 2 tablespoons. But if you like it spicier, you should add more. Now add a few dried chilies as garnish. They are whole so they won't affect the level of spiciness of the dish. The spiciness comes from the mala sauce. Next is the sensing wine and a little sugar to balance the acidity in the dish. The mustard greens go in last. Once they are cooked, pour in the beef stock slowly. When the sauce thickens and coats the vegetables, add the cooked beef. Finally, stir in the sesame oil. Mix well and remove it from the heat. This dish is normally garnished with roasted peanuts and sesame seeds. There you have it, a spicy mala xiang guo. Enjoy! <laughs>